The next step in preparation is to demold the samples. Um, we've had a three hour cure time in the warming oven, about 50 C, and we're just able to pop out our cured sample and we're going to put them in the holder which is made out of aluminum and a Delrin, a nylon-like material, a Delrin ring which is replaceable. The Delrin surface is parallel to the back surface of the aluminum so when we um, have the holder on the stage of the microscope, um, the top surface of the polished samples are all at the same level. Um, the idea here is um, we're just polishing the tips of the sample and the ring is what's keeping everything flat and parallel um, so everything is at the same focal point. So to place our sample um, in the holder, we're going to uh, cheat a little bit and take a little extra off by using just some office tape, a couple layers of office tape. And I've measured this out uh, on the microscope that uh, a couple pieces of this tape are 120 microns, a little bit more than a tenth of a millimeter. And uh, I'm always starting with a little extra so uh, the sample is fully exposed. They're never quite at the tip completely. So that's not very much material to give up. Um, there are set screws in, um, in each of the positions which lock down the sample. And we're going to clamp against the uh, face that was open to the air, not the bottom of the mold. So we place the sample in, drop it down, and lock it in place, rotate to the next spot, lock down. It's self-jigging, the sample is self-jigging because it's, um, it's got square faces uh, from the back side of the mold and once you start to screw it uh, tight, clamping it in place, it's locking up against the back side of the holder the board hole. And you don't have to be too fussy about this because it will lock right up. So now we've got the four samples locked down and they're all at the same height as the ring plus 120 microns. <laughs>